Hey guys, today I'm going to focus on postural strengthening. I've done a whole bunch of videos that have to do with spinal mobility. Spinal strengthening is more with the ability to stay in an upright position without having to exert as much effort. After doing a lot of spinal mobility exercises, you're going to have the range to now be in this upright posture. The next step is having the endurance and the strength to stay there. A lot of us are like, yeah, it's easy to stay upright, but after about five minutes, once you get in the zone, you start working, you get distracted, you'll end up here. We're all guilty of it. So if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about this, stick around, I'll show you guys two easy exercises, really easy to follow, that you can do after a work day to help get that upright posture. Okay hey guys, so I'm gonna show you two exercises for postural strengthening. The first of two has a progression, one on the floor, one on the wall, I'll walk you through that. Just be sure to be familiar with the three postural stretching exercises that I've done previously, the cat-cow, the modified child's pose, and the sideline rotation in order to have the appropriate mobility to get the benefits out of the strengthening exercises. So for the floor Ws, you lie on the floor, you bring your hands up and you want the back of your hands, the back of your wrists even, the back of your elbows and the back of your arms to all be in contact with the floor. The first way that you do it, add the double chin and you're trying to drive the back of your neck into the floor as well. So there's a lot going on here. So all these points of contact, double chin, back of the neck into the floor and then you're kind of doing these W's up and down, kind of going towards midline and back down, trying to keep the contact from the wrists, the elbows, the back of the arms, the back of the neck into the floor. A slight progression from that to flatten your spine even more makes it a little bit more challenging. You bring your knees to your chest and then you repeat the same exercises. Try and do two sets of 10 this way. If you do find this to be too easy, just do my next one that I'm about to show you guys up on the wall. The very slight progression from the one that I just showed you is up against the wall only because now you're working against gravity. All the same details apply. Back of the arms, back of the wrist, back of the hands on the wall. The challenging part is you try and get your entire spine, even your low back to touch the wall. And then in this case, I know you guys can't see my feet. My feet are about a foot away from the wall so that I'm leaning into it. So feet away from the wall, low back touching the wall, the entire spine. Same thing with the double chin, driving the back of your neck into the wall like this. And then same idea, working against gravity, working your way towards midline. You don't have to go all the way up and then go back, go down past 90 and then work your way back up, keeping that double chin, pushing the back of your neck into the wall. If you're into this one, then two sets of 10, same idea after you do your spinal mobility exercises. Okay guys, for the last one, we're back on the floor. This time we're gonna fo focus on spinal strengthening in a rotational plane rather than ex extension. So for this last one, you get on all fours and then you sit back on your ankles a little bit. Your one stability hand, you come in the, in the center, in the middle, other hand on the back of your neck. You take your elbow and you go and reach your opposite knee and then you rotate up, up, up as far as you can and then you go back down and you repeat that. You do your two sets of 10 per side. The common mistake with this, because a lot of us are weak in this extension position, is that people will go down. People are always pretty good at this because this is flexion. This is the poor posture range of motion. It's when they come back up, people will do this. They'll push their hips in order to get more range and go further. It's a little bit easier that way. So the idea is that you keep your hips in, in line with your body, and your chest, your head should still be lined up over your stability hand at the, at the end of this rotation. So if I go down, I stay over my hand, but I allow my head to turn with it until my very maximum range, and then you come back down. And you repeat the same thing on the other side. Back of the neck, go touch the opposite knee. Everything turns. A lot of people will do this and still look at the ground. You'll get further if everything turns together. And don't let your hip go out. Don't let this happen. Stay directly over it. Should look like this.
This is your gentle reminder that if you haven't done your stretches yet today, right now is a perfect time and you might as well do it while watching one of these two videos. If you have any questions with any of the content you just watched, comment below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys and thanks for watching.